If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Make sure you check out Poton Store. They have the new certain shield codes already available and they have automatic email delivery for these codes. You can get them in batches of 50 codes with a slight discount or individually for 89 cents each. They also have all these other promo codes. They have um, every other set you could imagine. And if you use Tailbone code, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailbone code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. Welcome back everyone, welcome back to a brand new day of Road to Teacher Worlds 2020. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are now moving on to another fire deck which is Macargo GX. This list is based off the Japanese tournament that we have results for. Macargo GX has a pretty nice ability, Crushing Charge, where you can discard the top card of your deck and if it is an energy you get to attach it to one of your Pokemon. And this goes really nicely with the Lava Flow attack, which does 50 damage plus 50 more for each basic energy you discard attached to Macargo. So you have Macargo GX combining with the other Macargo Smooth Over, where you can put that energy at the top and then use the ability you don't discard, you attach. And we also have for Anger to go with that with the Primate Wisdom. You have an energy in your hand, you put it at the top, and then you use the ability to attach it and get it into play. <coughs> we have Mewtwe. <coughs> to help us with the different typing and also to hit for weakness on other Mewtwo decks and also as a basic So that's really really nice in case we run out of Macargo GXs or something happens to them We have Volcanion as another attacker and flare starter for when we go second. We have Welder, we have Marnie, we have Cynthia <coughs> We have the Denace as well. So a lot of good stuff. We have Evolution Incense and Pokecombs and Quick Bolts to make sure that we find the Pokemon that we need to find at the right time and Let's see what we can do with my cargo in this metal dominated meta. Yeah. So why am I streaming while you're in school, Greninja TTG? <laughs> well, this is usually the time I try to stream, but you can always watch the videos on YouTube afterwards. All right, so decent start, decent, decent start. Foul for Frank Pan, we do have the, um, the lights under laps. Okay, and we're up against a water deck, so this could be a tough match for sure. But once again, yeah, I feel like every time we've seen this happen, I wanted you to go first and then they go at hatch pass. How is that actually helping you get anywhere? Um. Okay, I feel like I should bench them U3. And I should get rid of this for two fires. I have guaranteed Welder, Welder, uh, Wall Energy. If I find my Cargo GX, I could just end up winning the game. But knocking out Labyrinth V on turn two seems like a pretty reasonable. Um, a pretty reasonable turn here and I chose to welder to the bench of course just in case something weird happens I have to switch there we see a Cynthia so I insist yeah I feel like I'm hurting my own chance of winning tournaments by telling people not to go first people just I think I mean we are used for like the last I don't know 10 years I don't even know how long um, of choosing to go first right so there is that right but you need to adapt you need to change there's the Denim. Yeah, I play Lance under Lance. No need for Fab like this. And like, you can still 1 KO, right? Like, discarding 4 energies is not that big a deal to 1 KO a Seijin. You need to discard 2, so double. It's like, that's not the big a deal, you know? Having to discard 4 energies and stuff too is not a problem for this deck. 
Okay, so my opponent having a much, much better start. We might see the body surf attack here. But no, never mind. Chooses not to body surf. All right. So I do have fire crystal, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna grab a Ranguru. And then I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna grab two fires. And then I'm gonna go ahead and welder. Hmm, now I'm doubting myself. I feel like it should go to the active. Just spread my resources out. Okay, this is pretty nice. Well, it's not great though. Okay, I think this one, so I'm gonna Primate Wisdom, the Custom Catcher. Okay, there we go. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right. I'm gonna have a Cargo GX, the active. Oh, I'm not, ugh, I'm 10 short of the KO, oops. No. I am 10 short on the KO. I mean, my point start is also quite slow. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play it a little bit slower. Okay, I'm gonna play it a little bit slower. I lose this mode over my cargo, I don't mind. I've invested too many energies on these guys to really do something different. Let's go ahead and crushing charge. Lose a Pokemon, not the biggest of deals. Let's go attach and let's pass. Not super happy about the way I played out that turn though, for sure. Not super happy about how I played it out, but it's fine. Should be fine. Should be fine. Like, killing that Lapras wasn't impactful to the point where if I didn't, I lose the game, right? And on the opposite, like, if I have a lot of energies in play, then that'll just guarantee that I end up winning. At some point. <clears throat> I imagine my opponent will not play the Lapras VMAX. It just has to be attached to this Pokemon. <clears throat> Alright, so there's the Body Surf attack. Okay, so I guess I'm attaching to the Mewtwo this time. Alright, so I'm gonna get rid of the of this. <clears throat> I'll just grab whatever. And then I'll Poke Combat. For another Macargo GX. Oh, my other smooth over Macargo is actually priced. That's crazy. Okay, not the biggest of deals, but that's annoying. Um, let's go Primate Wisdom. <laughs> oh, let's go Crushing Charge to the active. Let's go attach to the active, and now let's go Marty. So this can't be smooth over my cargo, unfortunately. So I feel like I still use crushing charge. Nope, mm, that's bad. Um, and it's not the end of the world, but we have one fire crystal only. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe I've been playing this all wrong. Um, I can only use my GX. <clears throat> Is there a better time to use it? And now, probably not. Just get rid of five resources. Ooh, Pokemon. I hit two Pokemon catchers. A research and an energy. The two Pokemon catchers are big. I guess <clears throat> having Mewtwo available might mean that my opponent needs to commit to, to Lapras VMAX, though. So. There it is. There it is. Lapras VMAX has 320 HP, so I need to discard 6 energy total. Double Lapras VMAX. Alright, so we're playing the 3 price game. King of Wands, thanks so much for the follow. Water versus Fire. And Tails. Um, 
I mean, knocking out this Nom doesn't really help me at all, right? That's the third Pokemon catcher, though, so that's good. That is good. Um, Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and try Met Wisdom. Get the Fire Crystal, and then I'll Crushing. I mean, it doesn't seem like my opponent will be able to easily just one kill me three, right? Not a lot of energy access for for him. Um, I will Giant Hearth the Mew away for the last energy. I do have three customs in the deck. <clears throat> I feel like I should attach. And then let's go ahead and just Lava Flow. No need to discard any energy. Get the hit on the Stone. Start applying a little pressure. Smooth over my cargo, not quite. <clears throat> Um, what? King of Wands? What deck play expansion theme? What? Okay. So, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. As long as I have access to my last welder, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Especially now I knocked out the Snom, if I knock out this Lapras VMAX sister, and then I can just double cost into Dene, and that's three energies. Just being able to attack means I win the game. So it was a bit on the slower end for me, but I'm not trying to win as quickly as possible. I'm trying to guarantee that I win, right? Or rather, I'm not trying to take prizes as fast as possible. I'm just trying to get a win. Um, my opponent needs. 98, uh, six, six energies, right? Six energies on the Slapras VMAX to knock me out. There's one, there's two, and there's a third one. The mistake there for my opponent, he should have retreated first, it still would have cost him one, would have made the air retrieval more efficient if he saved his energy attachment there. Okay, so he takes the first prize card, and that's okay. That is generally okay. Or the, not the first prize card, sorry. The first three prizes. Because I have no other three prizes on board. So there's no way for him to win next turn. Whereas I have... Um, I have this and this or this or this. Like four prizes, right? So it should be fine. Should be all right. Okay. So one, two, three. I need six, right? I need to remember that I need six. Uh, there's the other welder, which is nice. There's the other welder, which is nice. Okay. So, do I care about the ability? I guess I do. It gets me an extra card, basically. So, I'll do this. I'll do this. Basically, I just need double custom catcher next turn, right? That's all I need. <clears throat> and this and out to the Dene. I don't care about the tools anymore. And I believe I did this right. I did the math right. <laughs> We're just trusting my brain. And there we go. There we go. There's the KO. Lapras VMAX goes down. We might get resets down here. That is a very genuine possibility. There's my cargo. Finally. And there's eight cards, three of which are custom catchers. <clears throat> three of which are custom catchers. And we are if we if we keep our hand, we are guaranteed one with the Macargo, so we should be good. And if we get Marty, we get to draw the next five cards, so I feel like that should be more than enough. That should be more than enough. Okay, so it does seem like my opponent will be able to knock out the active, fails the Poke Gear, Air Balloons, which doesn't work, and then plays Synthium, which is perfectly fine by me. There's a Quick Ball. He needs one energy to knock out, then he goes down to one prize, and I even have the resources to just um, get a kill with one cargo GX, so this should be fine. 
Uh, I believe that means my opponent didn't find an energy, which it didn't matter, right? It didn't matter, the key card was reset stamp, but we ended up um, taking it away. All right, so get ready for another giveaway, guys. Whilst I set up the next... <clears throat> Whilst I set up the next, um, the next game, if you want to win this code, type FIRE in the chat. No capital letters, guys, remember, no capital letters. All you need to do is type FIRE in the chat and we will be entered to win this Unified Minds code card. Alright, us, Eva, is choosing who goes first. And what starts? And my opponent let me go first, finally. Finally an opponent let me go first. So yeah, all you need to do is type fire in the chat as we are having a fire deck right now. My card work felt like was way too complicated. <laughs> Worm Tommy, hello, thanks so much for being here. All you need to do is type fire in the chat and you will be entered. Oops to win this code card, okay? All right, so did it change? Yikes. We're up against the UT. I definitely need more anchor room. Because this hand is absolute trash. And we'll go ahead and prime it with them. Okay. So I'll wait until I top deck. I'll wait until I top deck. <clears throat> yep, just type fire in the chat and you will be entered to win this code card. This translucent code card. That actually looks really cool. Right? Look, you see me? Yeah, you don't. Oh, I guess you do a little. Um, that actually looks really cool for the code card. I like that. It's a green code card, obviously, so that's why it loses the green color on the green screen. Okay, I'll give it until my turn finishes, and then... And then we will close out the, um, the giveaway, okay? It's funny that I think the person who asked about the giveaway is not participating in the giveaways. All right, so my opponent's digging for energy, even this card's energy, which I don't agree with. Um, because now he might whip, right? I mean, I guess he was trying to horror house me, but if he whips, then he's in a little trouble. There's the Marnie. He whipped energy off of this. Opponent. So we know we're gonna topic a fire energy. And we get a wild there, which is nice. And if my opponent whips energy, then that means that, and like, <clears throat> that was greedy. That was greedy. You did it right by choosing to go second. Oh, there it is. Never mind. There it is. Rafa, once again, <laughs> you need to type it without the capital letter. Yeah, without the capital letter. To type fire without the capital F in order to be entered into the giveaway. And Mark Beatty, thank you so much for the follow. Okay, so there's a core house GX. I literally can't do anything other than a rank room. Right? Other than a rank room. Building lights when life matters too much. That saves my Dedene, which is nice, right? <laughs> Thank you so much, Ruben. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I was just telling you to like type without the capital letter. Alright, so my turn ended. We will roll the winner is Mark Beatty. Mark Beatty who just followed the stream. Mark Beatty is the winner. So I will send you that code in just a second. Mark. Oh, how do I turn yet? Nope. 90H. All right. So code has been sent to your whispers on Twitch. Make sure you check that out. Thank you so much for everyone participating. To win another game, we will have another giveaway. Yeah, another code. All right. Uh, 
Um, Trap Nor already in there, so my opponent got everything going for the turn one whorehouse into turn two Trap Nor. Pretty nice, right? There's two cards that we would like him not to hit. Uh, we see the Fion again. I mean, him hitting the two energies. No, yeah. Okay, that works. That definitely, definitely works. All right, so we're gonna evolve. <clears throat> I'm gonna use Primate Wisdom, and I'm gonna use Crushing Charge, right? And then I'll go ahead and Synth, yeah, not bad, not bad. Now I do have to keep in mind the Trap Norse attack, right? Wow. This is actually awful. Um, hmm. I was not expecting this bad of a hand, that's for sure. So I'll attach. I'll bench this guy. I'll save, save, save. I just let the, the Dene go down, I think I do. Yeah, that gives me a, a better chance of keeping the custom catcher as well, which might be important. Might, might, might be important. Right. <clears throat> so there's the quick ball, getting rid of the Tina. I mean, grabbing the Tina rather. Quick ball away the Tina for the Dene. Yeah, very nice. So the deck working out very nicely for my opponent. But now I'm looking at this and double custom into Malamar at some point plus my GX attack. That could end up being pretty nice, right? Oh, oh yeah, the gear. I mean, sure, you get the knockout with your Giratina. Nice move, right? Nice move. Nice move there with the Giratina and the Fion. 10 damage here means I'm in higher range, I guess. Three Marnies used, one Research used. How many switches? Just one switch. That's pretty big. There's an Energy attached right there. There's the possibility of Dragonite. Um, 150 doesn't KO though, so that's good. Uh, 170 does. Oof. Okay. So is he gonna do 150? Yeah, you'd imagine he'll do 150, right? Oh, Marnie, okay. So Marnie, the way our hand, that's okay. As long as we don't draw exactly four uh, things for Poltergeist, although this isn't a good hand <laughs> by any means. If I draw, if I top the Welder though, or if Oranguru gets me Welder, then wouldn't be terrible for sure. Wouldn't be terrible. I guess double custom catcher on Kiratina is better now. Um, energy and the thing, that's fine. Top deck the thing again, because why not, right? Um, okay, so I'm in, a, I'm in desperate mode here. I'm certainly in desperate mode, so I need I need this card to be Welder, otherwise I am dead. That is not Welder, but that is the Dene. That is actually the Dene, which is fantastic. If it's in there, though. <laughs> if the second the Dene is in there, which it is not, of course. Or the second Oranguru. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh well, <laughs> we tried, right? We tried. Um, so yeah, I mean the deck seems okay, but the early game, right? The early game is definitely a problem. If my other Detene wasn't prized, I would have had a chance to get back into the game, I guess. Um, but yeah, not much. Not much you can do about that, unfortunately. Not much you can do about that. Alright. All right, all right. So one more game with my cargo. See how we get on. See how we get on here. Uh, 
Okay, now this is a pretty decent start, my opponent choosing the card. <laughs> you can see now how many times I lose the coin flip. Right, like it's... I haven't clicked the choosing to go second button many times. But people are choosing to go first. Right? Look at this. The Dene starts, you can't support her. Like, what do you expect out of that hand? What do you actually expect out of that hand? Are you just hoping to always have Quick Ball in your hand? Is that how this works? No, it won't happen all the time. Definitely won't happen all the time. Uh, Mark BD, I haven't tried Stone Turner. It is on my to-do list, that's for sure. Um, I will be giving it a try at some point. But I don't, um, like, it seems like a tanky deck, but it feels a little too slow for my liking. And it feels a little too slow for my liking right now. Um, even though you're, you have like a lot of HP, if the attack that healed also did damage, then I think it would be a little better. But, oof, it's just, it feels not reliable enough. Okay, I'm gonna grab the Volcanion in case I'm able to find, um, a switch. In case I'm able to find a switch, uh, which I did not, I will still... Actually, no, I won't attach. I'll play this, and I'll double Pokecom for, for Rangaroom. Yeah, Rangaroom. Because I am guaranteed energy off of um, whatever I draw after I get a change. So it should be good. Everyone says well played. I have no idea what that means. Talk poke. So far, I I believe you wanna go second with all the decks. <clears throat> That's what I'm feeling, you know? That's what I'm feeling. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and prime it with some the energy for a switch. Nope. Alright, that's fine though, that is fine. I don't foresee my opponent really threatening me too much. And I'll go ahead and burn him. But you see, like, what did my opponent accomplish by going first? Absolutely nothing, right? Absolutely nothing. And Pikachu, <laughs> hola, muchas gracias por estar suscrito. So yeah, though, in my opinion, you should go second all the time. Ooh, it's Pikachu. Ah, uh, we get Marty, that's fine. That is fine. Pikachu, thank you so much for the follow. Um, Ruben, you want to buy those secret fire energies, but there are like 30 apiece and you need 10 more. Yeah, the, the energies are definitely very expensive. Oh my gosh, did my opponent pull this off? Okay, he needs Coco Prism plus a switching card. Oh, of this, the Dene, there was a switching card. There was a switching card. My hand is once again not great. Even with evolution decks? Yes, Jared, because like, there's no guarantee that you will have a basic that you want to evolve into on turn one, right? Like, for the last hour and a half of my stream, every person who has chosen to go first just ends up going draw pass or attach energy pass. And that's like, that's just not good enough, you know? That is just not good enough. I, like, I'm fairly sure that's just not good enough. Uh, no, did any, did any. Uh, not having Mew socks, right? But we'll just have to do with it. Oh, come on, why am I not drawing supporters today? What the heck? Why am I not drawing supporters? I'll just grab whatever. And I'll Pokecom. Put them a card on. Okay. Um, so how do I do this? I'll go... I already have Tash, but I haven't played a supporter yet. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch into the Volcanion. And I'm going to smooth over for a welder, right? Resist temp him? Nah. <laughs> so then I draw the welder, and now I can do this. Wow, I'm very low on energy now, but I have fire crystal, so it's fine. 
And then I'll choose this guy. Basically this was to protect my Macargo, which I think was a solid plan. And then high heat blast. And Thunder Mountain is gone, so my plan relies on Coco Prism. Uh, there's no... There's no Jirachi Stellawish to help him get to where he needs to be. We know he has a Marty, but that's okay. <coughs> so yeah, even with Evolution Vex, like... And once again, I'll give the same example I did at the beginning of the game. No matter what deck you're playing, I assume you're playing against Musubi Malamar, right? If you choose to go first, you're not playing a support during turn 1, and then you do whatever, then they go, they core house GX probably, so then on your turn 2 you don't play any cards at all, right? So that's one turn of no supporter and one turn of no cards. But if you choose to go second against them, especially or against any deck, like but against them, you get to play a supporter on turn 1, and then on turn 2 you play no cards. But what's better? No supporter on turn 1 and no cards on turn 2, or supporter on turn 1 and no cards on turn 2. I think it's very clear which one is better, right? So... <clears throat> Pikachu, <laughs> no hago más videos en español porque <coughs> pues no es redituable, la verdad. Este es mi trabajo y los videos en español eh, no tienen la audiencia suficiente para, para dedicarles el tiempo. Sí, cada video no, ese es el problema, no, no vale la pena, genuinamente no vale la pena cada video que, que hago. Entonces, um, ok. So, what's the plan here? I can't take a prize. I mean, I can't get an attack off on the Picarum. That seems like a good call, right? That seems like a good call. And it was dumb. And then maybe I get lucky. Oh no, I put the Mewtwo at the top. What am I doing? So I'll, I'll get an attack off here, then I can shuffle my top deck, and then I can use Crushing Charge. Well, that was not great. <laughs> um, dog poke, no incense. Um, I mean, yeah, that seems reasonable. That seems reasonable. I'll use four Quick Balls, four Pokegums, and I still think going second is better. I still think going second is better. Eh, Pikachu, hay mazos psíquicos y siniestros muchísimos en el canal. Tienes Mewtree Malamar en el canal de la semana pasada. Um, ok, so there's a Pokemon catcher with a Volkner. But he simply full blitzes. I'm ok with that. I am 100% ok with that. 100% ok with that. Because now I take three prizes, and as long as I have another Macargo set up, which I will. Okay, so I'm gonna smooth over for a Cynthia. And then I'll <clears throat> Primate Wisdom for it. Videos psíquicos y siniestros en el canal tengo millones. <laughs> okay, I'll double Quick Ball, or Quick Ball the Quick Ball. <laughs> no worries, Dog Poke. No worries at all. Um, I'll touch here. Okay, how much damage do I need to do? 150, so discard two energies, right? Yeah, so then Lava Flow. And then KO and Coco V is not a problem. KO and Coco V is really not a problem at all. Slugma. <coughs> Excuse me. My opponent cannot win this turn. Um, like, he doesn't have Pikaram, just starting by that. <laughs> he doesn't have Pikaram. Uh, my opponent cannot win this turn. Because I don't even have 5 prizes on board, he could get with Tackle GX. I was. Like, looking into worst case scenario, there's just no worst case scenario. There's. Like, the reset stamp is annoying. But even if I don't win next turn, I can still take another turn to win. And my deck is pretty thin. <laughs> And that guarantees that I win. That guarantees that I win. Um, Shady Tree, how many people generally are in the Worlds tournament? I mean, it varies a lot depending on the location. 
Um, I expect the the worlds right now to, that will happen in London will have a lot of people because a lot of Europeans I know are trying really hard to get their invite. And getting to London from other countries is really accessible compared to um, compared to to like getting to like place in the United States. I don't know. Like um, usually for day one, it's anywhere between 400 to 600. And then day two is usually between 120 and 130. Yeah, that's how it usually goes. Okay, so I won. Thanks to welders, we're gonna have another code. Yeah, all you need to do is type welder in the chat and you have a chance to win this team up code. So just type welder in the chat. In the meantime, whilst you do that, no capital letters, remember, just as it says in the chat right there in my message. In the meantime, I will be right back in just a second with our last deck of the day, Seijin Mel Metal Lucario. Don't go anywhere, I will be right back and make sure to type welder in the chat, no capital letter.